Welcome in CACPHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how to create uh, CACPHP Ajax search. So, this is the output that we are going to discuss in, in this tutorial. So, you can see there is a search field, and if you hit any keyword in this uh, field, for example, I am just uh, hit press on PHP, you will see the PHP according to your keyword. So, how we have uh, we can de do this. So there has seven step uh, to uh, do this uh, uh, Ajax search. So first step is add jQuery. So I think you know how to uh, create this layout. Uh, so um, you know you can see that there is a table uh, called text. So I have actually a database table called text, and there is uh, some tag. You can see CSS HTML is a tag name. So uh, I've just generated the cagback command uh, uh, for to generate uh, this layout. So you can see this layout. This is actually a default layout which uh, provided by CagPHP. So I think you know about uh, uh, know about this uh, layout and also know how to generate uh, a default layout uh, for a table in CagPHP using cagback command. So I'm going to discuss uh, from searching uh, procedure so let us start so first step is we have to add the jquery so where we will add jquery we will add this jquery in our default.ctp file so where is in our default.ctp file it is in cacphp3 uh, my, that, man, that means my project name and the source folder in the source folder there is a folder called template and the template there is a folder called layout and in this layout there is a file called default.ctp and this default.ctp file actually provided by cagphp and uh, here i have just added jquery cdn so after add the jquery cdn our first step has been done so our next step will be create search field so the search field you are seeing in here this is the search field that we have to create so how we, i have created this search field in our index.ctp file the location of the index.ctp file is our source folder source folder and template and just the tag is our controller name or tag in uh, in this tags folder in this tag folder there has a uh, file name index.ctp index in in this index.ctp that means the layout for the uh, tags table this is the layout and this file actually comes from this view actually come from this index.ctp file and here uh, in the top of this table content class or in the top of the table you, you will see this table and I have just added a simple field that using control method and uh, for this I have just written this from control and the, my field name is search so after add this line we will see as output this field and after add this field our second step has been done third step is uh, take search keyword from the search field that means when we will press anything in here we have to grab this uh, search keyword so for that what I have did I've just uh, used the jQuery document dot ready function. That means the jQuery ready fun after uh, add this ready function. I've just uh, uh, add this uh, select this uh, field name. Uh, that's the field field selector, and I have added uh, here uh, a ID called search. But you can see in this field there is no any ID. But if you see in uh, in a spectral element you will see an ID in this field here is an ID so this ID actually generated by CACPHP when you will create a field using CACPHP from helper it will automatically add it a ID uh, as a name of this field name so when it when you will grab this ID using jQuery dollar sign and uh, hash Q, hash and then ID name and key up function in this key up function I've just uh, take the value of the field uh, that the user has been pressed this is the bail function that I have used jQuery bail function 
so I just uh, take this value uh, in a search key variable so I've taken a variable called search key and I've just written this bell and after take this value uh, I've just uh, send it in a function parameter this is the function that I have created for send the ajax request to controller the uh, function name is search text and this is the parameter so where is the function this is the function that I have created to send the ajax data to controller so the function name is search text and here's the keyword as a parameter and the data that I have just uh, taken a variable called data and here I have just uh, keep this uh, keyword and after that I have sent the uh, I have just add the ajax method to send the data to uh, uh, to my controller so here I have used this method equal to get and the URL uh, that I have uh, written in here you can see there is a double quote and in this quote I have written PHP code use this quote echo this URL build that means I have just build a URL uh, the my URL is controller is text controller and action is search that means this request this get request will go with this data in my controller text and the action is search so so after success response if there is any response this response will be print in table content plus deep and here is the HTML response so the table content that I have created in here there I have created a deep called table content in the top of the table and I have just end this deep I have just end this deep in below of the uh, paginator deep so this is the table content deep so let's see our final step so I have just taken the search key field it has been done and ajax request to controller method it has been done and then create search method and receive ajax request this is our uh, fourth step so in our text controller there I have added a search method and in this first search method the first line that I have uh, wrote that this request allow method ajax that means in here I will receive only ajax method I will not receive any PHP uh, request in this method so if you write this request allow method only ajax it will receive only ajax method in here the second things that we have did we have just grabbed the uh, request from Ajax that means when um, a request has been sent using get method then this keyword that we have sent in here this the key this key we have received in here using query method when you will send any data uh, by get method you have to receive it in here using query method so I have just written this request query and the keyword so if you see the output uh, in browser and if you open your inspector element and if you on your console and then if you just hit a key for example P you can see a get request in here and if you click on this if you click on params you will see the keyword this is, this is my key and this is the query string that I have sent and this is the value that means p is the value and keyword is the key and when you will receive it in here that means your value now in this uh, variable so after that we have just written a simple cac php uh, query that means i have written query equal this text find method and i'm just going to find all and I've just given the condition and in this condition I'm just written my name like this keyword and before this keyword I have just added modulus using concatenate and after this I've just written order optional it is it is optional and I've just written limit 10 that means I'm just uh, taking here 10 values from search uh, my data and after that I have just sent the data to uh, using paginet uh, uh, send the data to my view builder that means uh, in my search view 
so this is the actually simple uh, cac php method that i have created and after that i have just created a uh, search the ctp file and in this ctp file you are seeing a use a code uh, that means a view builder code you can see the table actually i i i copy the i just copy this table uh, i just copy this table uh, this table to dispaginate this portion i have just copy it from here and just paste it in here so after paste it when you will save everything now when you will uh, add this uh, keyword in here when you will key add the keyword in here you will see the output now according to your keyword so this is actually the ajax search so if you still face any problem i have just uh, added this source code under this video so you can see the source code uh, to get clear concept and uh, i'm not very good at in english but i have just uh, tried to speak english so i think you will pardon me for my bad english and i think this tutorial uh, uh, help will help you 